Welcome to my course Applied Computer Science. My name is Alexander Neidhardt and I will be your teacher for the coming weeks. Applied Computer Science is strongly related to the field where it is used. So it's a pleasure for me to show you around here at this observatory and give you some insights where computer science is used daily to solve the challenges around observatories like this. In the next weeks we will touch a lot of disciplines um, in computer science like binary data operating systems, data formats, programming, programming languages, high-level processes to develop software and also different methods to read and process data. So, special times force us to change completely to an online lesson, but this is also a new chance to give you insights which were not possible before. So I can give you direct aspects and show it directly on location why this lesson is like it is and where I got my experience. And this comes from the field of scientific development. So I hope we'll have fun together and please stay for the next lessons. A very warm welcome again to the course Applied Computer Science, which is part of the master course ISPAS. So I do this course together with Dr. Thomas Gruber, and today I want to give you a short introduction into the course. So therefore I will tell you how it is organized, and I will show you a little bit about the content and about me. So, the course is in the winter semester, uh, consists of three units of lectures, so theory and one unit of tutorial. This means that um, you will get something like these films here, which um, contain the theory and information which you need for the exam. And then you can train it uh, in a live tutorial. Uh, where I will do a Zoom or DFN uh, conf meeting. So this is only for the 2M students. Um, therefore, um, it's specific for uh, people who will do the exam. The tutorial, by the way, will start one week later. You will get the tasks for the exercises um, at the day when the um, lesson will be published but then you have one week to prepare everything and then you can um, go into the tutorial and you will hear about solutions or um, solution ways and so on so in total we will have together 52 units each 54 minutes and you will get five credits for that um, it is now completely online uh, due to this COVID-19 situation. So this means you will get always a new lesson um, each Tuesday uh, on a YouTube channel. And the tutorial will be live between 1315 and 1400. What do you need? You need your brain and an own computer with Windows or Linux. Um, you can download some open source programs uh, which I will introduce during the lessons. 
you need access to the internet and you need a TUM MATLAB license because uh, most of the things we do um, are based on MATLAB. Therefore, you should also have had MATLAB course so that you are, uh, let's say, a, a basic programmer in MATLAB. At the end, you will get a written test. Um, we'll think about to do it also online. Um, usually it's 19 minutes and you will hear about the content of the test um, during the lessons. You will find all of this stuff on the Moodle. So therefore I go a little bit back and change to a slide without me. So um, the Moodle uh, lecture notes can be found here under the ID 59103 and the tutorial uh, can be found on the uh, 2M Moodle with the ID 59111. And then you have this online channel. You already watch me, so therefore you should know where it is. And um, yeah, you can download or you can uh, stream the different lessons from there. So I want to show you something about the content um, but before you find most of the things in the book uh, written by me um, you find much more there but also the basics which I uh, have in the lectures and additionally you can also have a look into the book computer science an overview so that these both books applied computer science for Chigas observatories and computer science and overview are the main um, literature for this course. Nevertheless, you can download um, the lesson slides from the Moodle. So therefore, um, it should not be a problem. So let's come to the content. So we'll start with binary numerics. Um, this means that we will start from uh, bottom up into computer science you learn about different numeral systems and so on we will continue with text and binary formats so that you see the difference between uh, what is a text character code and what is the difference to a binary number uh, a representation which is used in 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 in, in all calculations then we continue uh, to process numbers or uh, some text you need hardware hardware is based on logic gates and digital circuits so the next step is uh, where the bridge from bool and algebra to the arithmetic operations in uh, elementary uh, architectures therefore uh, we continue a week later with computer architectures you see the john von neumann uh, principle and you will see what, what is also required to standardize things like operating systems and so on. And then you will hear something about computer languages, um, about the differences, um, what you need to describe programs like state charts, um, things which are really relevant for robotics, for example. And uh, then we will continue to write good software, so qualitative higher level software and therefore you need software development structures and uh, development processes. Then my colleague Dr. Grubel will take over for one lesson to show you real standards um, from the software engineering. And I will continue directly before Christmas holidays with uh, data organization so that you learn about how data can be arranged sequentially or how it is done to find it directly with hash tables and things like that. Then you can relax because you'll have two weeks of Christmas holidays. Uh, we continue in January with uh, important thing but only with the topics uh, about uh, computer algorithms. I will show you some sort algorithms and how you can classify algorithms 
um, so that you get a feeling of the different uh, things about efficiency and so on. And from this lesson on, we continue with um, data. So focus is on data. Uh, therefore, you will see databases, um, mainly relational databases and uh, SQL interface to these databases. And then we'll have a look into two data formats uh, or file formats. One is the XML or HTML markup language so that you get a feeling for markup languages. And we'll continue with a very scientific um, data format uh, which is used in a lot of scientific pro uh, projects like um, altimetry data or uh, the VLBI Vigos uh, database um, which is based on the NetCDF standard. Um, and finally, you will hear something about communication basics. So what happens if you send messages? Um, what is the main principle behind, also behind uh, IP version 4 and IP version 6? And um, what are security uh, mechanisms? So, With this knowledge, I think you will have everything what you need um, to be an interdiscipl interdisciplinary uh, engineer and that you can connect uh, spe different specialists um, and doing some IT developments. So where do I come from? Uh, so where's my, my experience from? Um, I studied computer science a long time ago, so you can say, oh, it's an old stuff. <laughs> but I think um, I continued continuously uh, with developments, especially here at the observatory in Wetzel, where I work as the head of the uh, microwave techniques. So um, I also finished my PhD at the TUM about computer science in the application field of um, the geodetic um, large systems, so like uh, VLBI and um, laser ranging. And I also did my uh, postdoctoral lecturer qualification in that field so that I have the private lecturer um, state now, uh, which is a, 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 a previous state to a professor. So I also do a lot of um, things around the world. So for example, I did some maintenance journeys to uh, Lhasa in Tibet for GPS. Um, I was part of a VLBI Antarctic campaign um, in 2008. Um, and uh, meanwhile, I'm also coordinator and advisor for scientific exhibitions. So therefore, I hope we will have a lot of, let's say, work together, but also uh, fun and uh, that you will learn a lot. And I want to say, hopefully you stay together with me um and please stay safe and we will see each other in the next week with the first lesson so bye bye